Hey everybody, welcome to Meddling World. This is day three, part two. We're getting ready to leave Cozumel, but oh no, no. The fun is just beginning for our nighttime adventure. Come on in, check it out. Guys, we're starting off a little fun here. Milkshakes at Johnny Rockets and we're doing a little dance while we're here. We love it. We're getting ready to sail away, Roberta, from but this is where it's at. Oh, we love it. So I think we're finally going to get the ride to Carousel. I know Jake and I will give it a ride. What do you think, Jake? Give it a ride? Now that was a fun way to start the evening. We have been, if you've been following along with all of our other uh, cruise vlogs, that, that hasn't been open yet. So that was the first time we got to ride it. So now I feel happy that I got to ride the carousel at the boardwalk. So nice way to start our evening vlog here on Meddling World. If you're new to Meddling World, please take a moment, subscribe. You're gonna really love the way we vlog cruises because we bring you on the adventure we give you the information and we have a lot of fun we vlog just like you're hanging out with us so you can see what it's like if you just wanted to come on this ship and experience all the fun we're having but we do give lots of information let's head down to promenade deck so we decided to grab some pizza here from Sorrentos located on promenade deck Right now, cheese and pepperoni. A lot of cheese and pepperoni this way. Just a couple slices, guys. Uh, nice thing about cruising, this is also all included in your cruise fare. So let's start off with a couple slices. Those first slices were so good, I went back. This one's got like all kinds of, it's got like definitely bacon. It looks like it's like salami. And Roberta returned with a nice drink. This is from Promenade Cafe, guys, right across the way. Uh, I know you know about Promenade Cafe if you've been watching. If not, everything there, uh, all the snacks are included. And if you have beverage package, uh, they have all kinds of different beverages you can get. So, And some of the uh, included beverages over there as well. And a Pellegrino. Those, this is our little appetizer, Roberta. Yeah. And yes, Roberta eats <laughs> pizza with ketchup. Yes, I don't know. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> you heard what Jake said. I'll leave it at that because happy wife, happy life. So we did find on the app that there's laser tag. Yeah. So we're heading, it says four midship. So it's just down one deck. Yeah. So let's let's go see if we can find out about laser tag and enjoy our drinks. Pizza was good, by the way. Today, today I think, was the best it, it's been. I don't know. They must have had that fresh and hot. That was really good. Either that or I'm starving. Probably both. Guys, I think we found where laser tag is. Right here, it's actually in Studio B. This is the ice skating rink. So right here is where you're gonna find your laser tag. Oh, look at, we're getting already hyped up. I know it's a little dark here. I'm not sure if I'll be able to vlog this, but I'm gonna give you some information. You need at least 10 people to show up. It's kind of scheduled almost every half hour for the next couple of hours. Uh, so you need 10 people. I guess it's five on each team. So we're about to find out. We need two more people to show up. And like I said, not sure if I'll be able to vlog it or not, but I'll at least give you some information when we're done, whether it was good or not. Here we go. So, oh, this looks really cool, guys. Check it out in here. It's like a big maze thing. Oh, I think this is going to be fun. Oh, yeah, I don't even know if the camera would pick it up. It's very dark in here. We'll, we'll see, though. We'll see. Just trying to give you... It looks like the earth has frozen over. So it looks like we're in the snow over here, yeah, right? The ice age. It's the ice age, which makes sense because it is a skating rink. This is all, like, inflated in here. It's dark, but how did I not know about this? Oh, this is going to be so cool. Because I won't be able to vlog inside, but this is kind of what it looks like. And... We're going to play. We'll give you a full review when we're done. We're all done. I turn the camera on just so you can kind of see what it looks like in here. Uh, when we were playing, it was all dark. And it was 
it was a blast. So it was two teams, five on each team. Roberta and I were on it the red and Jake and his buddy uh, other people were on so this is what it looks like now that it's dark this is what it looks like when you're playing so fun oh, that was so fun and that's included in the cruise fare no extra charge for that a lot of fun I'm gonna recommend you go ahead I've never played laser tag before but oh it was so cool so a lot of fun doing that this is the rising tide bar i was talking about in the earlier part of the vlogs um we just went in roberta jake and i um, but you have to actually be 18 and over to utilize the rising tide bar here on oasis of the sea now i said i wouldn't do a lot of comparisons but on harmony of the sea if you watch our cruise vlogs they let Jake go on, so just a rule, just want to let you know, so if you do have uh, kids with you, you got to be 18 plus, It'll be rising tide bar. So Roberta had an idea, heading up to deck 15, the pool deck, and just kind of have a look, 16, yeah. look over, and uh, because we're getting ready to sail away, and just out of curiosity, we'll go see if we got any pier runners. Always fun. So let's go have a look. All aboard was about seven minutes ago. And oh, yeah. There's, there's people coming still. You can see them down there, guys walking. So, yeah. Last minute. Pier walkers. Coming back. Yes. As Jake said, pier walkers, not pier runners. Not much of a rush, but yes, definitely are late. So let's see if there's any more drama coming off over by the aft. Well, plus, we can have a nice look as uh, we're almost getting ready to sail away. It looks like let's take our last beautiful looks here as we're getting ready to have dinner soon. Beautiful day today, though. Yeah, these guys are coming. They're just doing selfies a minute ago. So a couple more. But yeah, Captain did this morning it was 6 30 all aboard. Now, definitely late we'll keep you posted though i don't want to oh yeah look they are starting to loosen up so these guys got to get a move you can see that they are releasing the ropes so we will be leaving momentarily if any more drama unfolds we'll keep you posted but as of now, I think hopefully those are the last two passengers. Well, let's see. Also have a little ping pong, guys, after the not so much drama with the uh, pier walkers, or I should say, I just had turned the camera on the pier selfie takers. They were taking selfies. Uh, but anyway, they do have ping pong as well. So Roberta and Jake in a heated battle. So as Roberta and Jake are ending their ping pong match i figured i'd come back one last look we are now sailing away from cozumel and i think everybody made it on board hopefully so bye cozumel it was cool just hanging out there like i said a couple hours in the morning um but the day overall was beautiful because we really did take advantage of the ship with not very big crowds on the pool deck as you guys can kind of see pool decks really our favorite place to be i think out of the ship we really enjoy being out here and jake especially with all the different uh sport activities uh i should say water slide bull rider and the pools so we have a good time as we say goodbye to cozumel just stopping in a room and we're getting ready to head to dinner so i'm gonna give you a couple last views Sh uh, the ship seems to be just cruising so nicely right now. Very calm out there, isn't it? So we're going to head to dinner. And let's hope, again, with the My Time dining, we're kind of requesting that same table every night. So far, the first two nights it worked. I think we are going to go back to the main dining room tonight that we now that we've kind of uh figured out our 
show plans, right? So hopefully we'll be able to get our same table, table 315, which is my birthday, March 15th, and have our awesome wait staff. You guys heading to dinner. You can hear the live band up there. It's pretty neat. I'll show you as we walk by. We didn't quite get table 315, but we did get table 313, and we are lucky enough that the uh, maitre d' is able to get us Dua and Ida to be our servers, and we're just right 313, 315's right on the other side of Jake, so it's going to be awesome. We get to have our favorite servers tonight. Tonight's Italian night. These are like little fries with a spicy sauce. Uh, what is it, Roberta? Well, the fries. Okay. I got some minestrone soup. Jake and Roberta got the same thing, carpaccio. Carpaccio. Yeah. And Jake as well. So we're going to go ahead, dig in, and let you know. Once again, appetizers were just awesome. And of course, they were so good yeah. that I decided to get a carpaccio. And Roberta even had Another round two. two. It was so good. Roberta, we found out. Yeah. We found out why the food is so awesome in this main dining room and kind of all over the ship here on the Oasis of the Sea is because the head chef right now on Oasis of the Sea is the award-winning chef out of the whole entire Royal Caribbean fleet. And we just got lucky enough that he's here on Oasis of the Seas. So the main dining room has been awesome. If you've been following along our vlogs, um, I think there was like maybe one appetizer that wasn't great but besides that everything has been really really good so appetizers were awesome and uh let's get ready for the main entrees we got our entrees i got the chicken parmesan as you can see here roberta has another vegetable dish tonight what'd you get roberta that's a mushroom risotto mushroom risotto and Jake, Big Jake, the rock star, has a New York strip with the potato and veggies. Let's dig in. Oh, wow, man. Again, all the entrees were awesome. Um, Roberta, how'd you like yours? I think I have to wait for the dessert because it's going so perfect. So yeah. <laughs> you know, another, another, another great meal in the dining room. And I just want to kind of point out, I know a few guys kind of watch our other cruise vlogs this guy big jake over here the rock now he got a piece of fat there he tells it like it is too yeah. as you know <laughs> but the one thing about jake is he's tried so many new things yeah. on this cruise uh he hasn't had anything off the kids menu at all so he's really uh exploring new dishes and he's having a great time eating them the capaccio he's never had that he had it tonight so we love cruising and we love being with our son jake uh he's just becoming that you know trying to keep him as that little boy but starting to grow a little bit so so fun and awesome to see that with him jake's stealing my strawberry already guys but this is like a coffee cappuccino something but doesn't it just look good i don't even know what it is <laughs> Roberta got this, like a mousse or something, Roberta? Tiramisu, man. Tiramisu, okay. <laughs> and Jake got this, like, don't. Jake, like break that in there. Let's see what that looks like in a minute. You know, it's like a chocolate. Oh, look at like that. Like a chocolate cake. And it's got, like, some frosting over on that side. So we're going to dig in on these desserts. I think, because everything else has been so awesome, I think the dessert's going to be just as good. But we'll let you know. Oh man, another great meal. Dessert was awesome. God. And uh, we're getting ready for the aqua show. Yeah, but if I do have to say something about dinner, I think it was the closest one to perfection. Perfection night great. for dinner was today. That was awesome. I'm telling you, we just, so good. we just keep going back to the main dining room on Oasis because it's just been so good. 
and the service is so good. I mean, I've just been so impressed, guys. So if anybody is coming on Oasis, especially if you're watching this within the next few months, hopefully that head chef is still here. here. You don't need specialty dining. Oh my god. It's like eating in specialty dining, man. It's been great. We're having just a great time on this cruise so far. I mean, I don't think there's really been much negativity at all. I mean, we still got a full day. I mean, nothing big. Nothing really worth complaining about, so let's get ready and go check out the Aqua Show. Correct. We're just cutting through the stateroom hallway. As if you saw our vlog last night, we're back here at Aqua 80. It got canceled last night because of the rough seas. The pool was overflowing back and forth with the waves, so let's hope for some better luck tonight. And we'll show you some clips of this show. so much for watching meddling world please take a moment subscribe to meddling world if you're enjoying our awesome adventure here on our cruise thank you to our patreons and last but not least see ya